Hi, this is Fraser from FF Art Studio. Welcome back, friends, to the third part of this turtle sculpt tutorial. In this sculpt tutorial, we will be doing the final part of the sculpting, which is uh, doing the detailing of the sculpture. Uh, as you can see, we have the various different parts already modeled separately. The blocking is done in the previous part, so you can check the link above to see the process if you haven't seen it. So the first thing we'll do in this tutorial is hide the eyes because we want to merge rest of the parts of the body. So for that, we'll scroll down in the subtool panel, go to merge and hit merge down button. When I hit it, we'll get a pop up and we'll say okay for that. So uh, basically whatever mesh is selected, the mesh below that gets merged. So the body got merged with the neck as you can see over here. So they are now a single mesh. So continuing with the process, we'll merge the rest of the parts also. For that, hit merge down again. That will merge the body to the head now. So body, neck and head. Going with the next step, merge down for limbs and the hind limbs. They're all a single mesh, even in the subtool panel. So all are merged now, as you can see from the wireframe. But the problem is, uh, you can see that they are merged together as a single mesh, but they still have seams on the joints. Uh, you can see that. So in order to, uh, I mean, solve this issue, we need to update the dynamic mesh. So as you know, we are working with the dynamic on. So with the mesh selected, go into the geometry panel and under that where we have the dynamic button on, hold control and drag along the screen to update it. So once that is done, you can see um, those joints have fused. Okay, it's welded, uh, so to speak. Yeah, although you can see by dynamic it has joined and there are no seams on smoothing. We can see that uh, smooth out the joint areas. So, you know, hold shift and they smooth over those parts where the welding has taken place. Basically, the different parts have fused. So with that done, remember that we are left with the shell as a basic part for the turtle. So for that, we'll mask out from the back of the turtle. So holding control and drawing the mask over the body mesh. So we'll get the basic shape from the reference for that. And we'll block out the mask for that area from where we are going to extract the mesh for the shell. So once more or less you're happy with the masking, uh, it's time now to test the extract. So, you know, we'll find the extract in the subtool menu. So tweak a few settings with the thickness and uh, the smoothness. Try out what gives the best result according to you. We can see that we need to fix few uh, areas around the limbs and the joints of the body. So we'll just tweak that mask once more. Once you're okay with the mask, go for the final extraction. Do the final settings for thickness. Uh, I'm keeping the value of 0.045. That seems to be good with smoothness of 50 and just accept to lock the mesh. Yeah. So as you can see, once we got that, we need to tweak and do some smoothness uh, uh, in the edges, need to smooth them and also look around in all the angles, check reference to see the shape and form. So we'll be using the move tool to uh, just tweak the shape a little more uh, so that it looks better. Uh, we just need to do a few more things that is we can pinch the edge of the turtle because it's a hard edge uh, so we'll use a pinch tool for that make a nice crease along the edge we can delete the back side or the inner side of the shell i'll be showing you that step in another tutorial for this we'll keep it as it is yeah so once we're happy with that the basic sculpt is done it's a good time now to save the file as you can see uh, we have a very low poly count so sculpting in this condition won't be good. So for that, first we need to remesh uh, the body. Uh, as you can see the wireframe, but first we need to 
switch off the dynamic button so having switched off the dynamic button now we can go to the remesh tab in the geometry panel itself so open up the remesh tab and switch on the remesh with the default settings on uh, as you can see by hitting the remesh button uh, the geometry and the topology has improved drastically and the polygon has reduced relatively so in order to sculpt further uh, obviously we need to increase the polygon uh, but it's much cleaner than the dynamesh so we can work with it easily yeah so next we'll also remesh the shell uh, before starting the sculpting We we'll leave the eyes as it is for now because the topology of the eye will help us later. As you can see, I have subdivided the mesh a few times. This will help us to get a smoother deformation while sculpting the model. Uh, you can see it's smoother now. Let's select the body mesh and start sculpting with the head. Uh, so first, we'll go with the eye area, the eyebrows, the lips. We'll sculpt out the prominent features.
with the head and the face sculpt for now. So let's proceed with the next step. So we'll start with the eyebrows. For that we will uh, mask out the area. You can see from the reference how the shape goes along the forehead. Uh, so just follow that. Next, we'll mask out the other facial features on the forehead and on the face. Basically, these are stylized scales. So try to keep these scales a little asymmetrical on either side of the body or face so that it doesn't look very obvious. Once you're happy with the masking, it's time now to extract these faces. So do the tweak in the settings, see which uh, thickness looks good. Yeah, this looks fine. So after doing that, just accept the extract button and finalize with the uh, thickness and the smoothness. We'll now smooth out the eyebrows and the scales Next we start working on the scales on the limbs and the paddles we'll follow the same process for that so we'll mask out those areas and then extract it
So it's now time to start creating the eyelashes. So for the eyelash also, we'll follow the same process. We'll mask the area around the eyes and the eyelids uh, to get the shape of the eyelashes. And then we can extract it to get its thickness. So with the eyelashes done, we'll next move to the eyes. Select the eye and mask out an area for the iris or the colored part. So we'll take a circular mask and try to create an oval shape with the mask. As you can see in the reference, it's not completely a circle. Uh, to further adjust the mask, we'll use the mask options. You can see various mask options of growing the mask, of boosting the mask, which makes the mask bigger and stronger. And there are also options for shrinking the mask and diluting the mask and sharpening the mask as well. So once you're happy with the mask, select the transpose tool and move it little inwards to create a kind of depression. So that will create a nice shade. Once that is done, just clean up the eye socket area uh, where it is penetrating the eye mesh. Moving on next to the pattern found on the lower side of the belly of the turtle. So we will again follow a similar method for uh, creating that design basically so we'll mask out that area and then sculpt it So that looks good enough. So finally we are left with detailing and the sculpt for the shell. So let's get ahead and start masking the pattern. Uh, you can see from the reference, just follow along. 
So try to make something similar. It's up to you how close you want to get or if you want to create some other pattern, you can do that as well. Once you're happy with the mask and done the tweaking as per your requirement, let's go ahead. So there are two ways. We, the, we can either extract it or we can scale it. So if you extract, you'll get an, another separate mesh that will increase the poly count. Uh, so better we can scale it. So select the transpose tool and just scale it uh, to the thickness you want. So that looks good enough. We can go ahead with this. As you can see, finishing with the shell and we are done with complete sculpting, stylized turtle. We have tried to achieve something similar to the reference, not exactly copying everything from the reference. I hope you guys have liked this tutorial. There's another version of the tutorial where I'll be sharing with you the time-lapse version. You can check that as well. Uh, if you want to go into the detail, then do check each and every part of this. Follow along. Uh, try to create something and don't forget to hit the subscribe button, uh, like, share and comment. Of course, comment. Uh, if you have any queries, thank you.